Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fesmed Hospitals in Kiel Park. Friends, today's topic uh, will be emergencies in the large intestine. Large intestine follows the small intestine in that order and leads to expulsion of the feces through the anus. So, large intestine on average is about a meter in length and the usual emergencies which are associated with the large intestine can be three. One, infection of the large intestine often associated with a disease called as diverticulosis where little outpouchings of the large intestine can get infected and patients present to the hospital with pain. Pain, fever and many investigators realize that one of these little outpouchings have got infected. They do respond to antibiotics if you present relatively early to the hospital and on up and you've been diagnosed to have diverticulitis and if you are on appropriate treatment. For a few of us who are elderly and who are diabetic, these presentations can be very insidious and patients present late to the hospital and in the meanwhile the infection has progressed to an extent where the little outpouching called as a diverticulum can sometimes perforate. Now, if it perforates and disintegrates then obviously the fecal material from inside the large intestine spills into the general abdominal cavity making the patients extremely sick. This would require an emergency operation which can be sometimes even life threatening because the patients who are elderly would having to have an emergency operation of this magnitude may not necessarily do well with this, uh, with this particular condition. Now this is with infections. You can have blockages of the large intestine causing again uh, severe illness for elderly patients again requiring immediate surgical intervention. So why does somebody go on to form a blocked intestine? This is usually because of tumors, cancers, often cancers kind of go on for several months, you know, we don't realize that something is happening or sometimes we even have symptoms which are directly related to cancer, but we assume it is not because of that. So people can develop severe change in the bowel pattern, they can become increasingly constipated, or they can have blood in their motion and we kind of dismiss these symptoms and being trivial and we often related to some tablets or we think it is hemorrhoids, piles, whatever. So these patients, when the tumor load meaning the size of the cancer it becomes big enough to cause complete blockage of the large intestine obviously will come to the hospital with a tummy which is very bloated up not passing wind and unable to expel their feces by this time the patient is often sick and they have to have some kind of intervention to open up the system. If you do not open up the system, like any other system in the body, the patient will become infected, septic and eventually the large intestine may disintegrate as a whole which can be definitely fatal for that particular unfortunate group of patients. So large intestine emergencies can be very late in presenting to the hospital and can be sometimes misdiagnosed as simple constipation and people can often get into the spiral where they are misdiagnosed and they become very sick before people realize what is happening and then having to undergo very major operation which can be very very tedious to the system and sometimes it can be fatal also. So any change in bowel habit, anything which is unusual for us you know, and which is persistent for several weeks requires hospitalization or at least advice from an appropriate specialist and investigations to make sure we are not missing a major pathology which can present as an emergency in the long run. Thank you.